Hello, everyone. I'm here to speak to you today on behalf of my four-year-old son, Brooks, who was diagnosed with Phelan McDermott syndrome at 11 months old. Like most moms, I had genetic testing when I was pregnant and everything was normal. Life couldn't be any better. So here he was, my beautiful, healthy, nine pound baby boy. As milestones approached, I had an excuse for why he wasn't holding his head up or wasn't reaching for toys or rolling over. Then there was the doctor visit when I heard the words further genetic testing. And then I got the call. I remember the feeling I had and to this day, I get the same gut-wrenching feeling when I hear the words Phelan McDermott syndrome. The more I read, the more I couldn't believe what I was reading. Moderate to severe intellectual disability, seizures possibly, aggression. No, not my baby. These things don't happen to us. Well, they did. And everything I hoped wouldn't be in our future soon became our reality. I gave up my sales career I had worked so hard to excel at to be able to now be there for my son because I was gonna do everything. I was gonna make everything better. We were gonna do every therapy. Maybe this therapy will help with speech or functional independence, or maybe, just maybe, if we did enough therapy, he could catch up. The thing is, this disease impacts everything in the individual affected, not just fine motor, gross motor, neurological, feeding. It affects the ability to stay alive. I cannot tell you how many times we've had to call 911, a number that I never had to use before. The seizures are terrifying. The rushing of doctors towards your son's hospital bed, using the bag, and then saying we have to intubate. Looking at your three-year-old on a ventilator is a heart-wrenching feeling no one should ever have to experience. Continually hearing from doctors that there are no answers because this isn't a typical seizure and the dreaded words that I also learned from Google that play over in my head, there is no cure for PMS, haunts me daily. I worry about what will happen to my intellectually disabled child if he outlives me. This room is filled with such capable, educated people, and I feel honored to be able to tell you just a glimpse of our story. I also want you to think about what it'll be like if you were in my son's shoes. He has things to say as well. He wants everyone to know that he loves them, but he can't tell them. He wants to know why he can no longer say mama when he is hurt like he used to be able to. And I'm sure he wants to know why he wakes up to these grown-ups sticking him and poking him in a hospital bed that he can't get out of. I'm sure he also wants to know why he can't play like the other kids at the park for fear of falling or why when he tries to, they usually just walk away. I can't think about these things for too long because they hurt more than anything you can imagine. So I wanna ask this room to commit to developing treatments for Brooks and others with Phelan McDermott syndrome who so desperately need it. If anyone can do this, I know this group can't, thank you.